Good morning, everybody. Good Sunday morning. It is September the 23rd, 2012. Um, I've been up watching Super Soul Sunday on the OWN network, and they have so many um, positive shows. They have a little snippet show called Soul Pancake. And if you all haven't seen it, um, go to Oprah.com, Own.com, and um, check out Soul Pancake. It's funny. It'll make you cry. I just love it. Anyway, um, I came on because yesterday I was reading a news story online about a woman named Myra. Gonzalez. Um, I don't know if any of you have heard of her, but when I read her article, I um, googled her and did some more research on her story. Okay. Um, she is 28 years old and she was on trial for killing her four-year-old nephew. Now, um, the most important part, one, one of the most important parts of this story is that she weighs 1,036 pounds. You heard me right. 1,036 pounds pounds. Um, they said it was the British news story that I saw said that it was the equivalent of 74 stone. That is their um, weight measurement over in the UK. They uh, measure in stone instead of pounds and ounces and stuff like that. So she weighs 1,036 pounds. Um, she was left in charge of babysitting her four nieces and nephews. And when her sister came home, her four-year-old son was unconscious, was not breathing. They took him to the hospital and he was pronounced dead. Myra Rosales, because she was um, left in charge of the children, admitted that she crushed this child's head. She said that she was reaching for him, her hand slipped, and she fell on him and crushed him. They arrested her charged her and she was on trial this happened in 2008 and she was just acquitted um, in January of this year um, from the story that I saw from the BBC news channel she adamantly you know kept confessing to injuring this child and um, saying that she was the one that killed him. They made a total media circus out of her. They had to cut her walls open. They had to do special measurements and, excuse me, make special accommodations for her to be in the courtroom. It was just, it was just sad. I mean, no one should have to go through that. So, her sister disappeared went off to Mexico oh let me also say that this happened in Texas her sister and her husband and the rest of their children crossed the border over to Mexico and left this 1,000 pound woman here to take the blame and face whatever charges um, 
that were g given to her in terms of injuring and killing this baby. Um, she got so tired of everything. I mean, she just went through a tremendous ordeal. It was just horrible. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. And um, TLC will be airing a special on her um, next month, I think it is. I'll try to make sure to keep you all updated for anyone who's interested. Anyway, the sister disappears to Mexico with the husband. Come to find out the sister is the one who killed her own child. He was refusing to eat and so she took a brush and proceeded to beat this baby in his head because he would not eat. And so she wouldn't be the one facing any criminal charges. Her um, sister took the blame for her. Now, the reason why she finally admitted to not being the one, first and foremost, none of the physical evidence corroborated her story. Nothing that she said happened was um, proven with the, you know, physical evidence, the DNA, you know, the reenactments, you know, um, when you have a suspicious death, they do a very, very thorough autopsy they found um fractures in his skull and everything and from what she was saying she just slipped and fell on the boy and basically smothered him to death and the district attorney even was like there's no way that you falling on him would have crushed his skull the way that it did anyway she got tired of the humiliation and everything and the cherry on top was that she found out her sister was pregnant again so not only did her sister kill her baby let her take the blame for it but she left her to take the blame all by herself with no support went over to mexico the husband in turn um pimped her out. He had this woman in Mexico pimping her out. And the only reason why she came back and confessed to killing her son was because she was tired of getting pimped out by her husband. Now, if she had gone over to Mexico and everything was nice and lovely with the husband, her butt would still be over there and this woman with all of her different medical conditions would still be on trial for a crime that she didn't commit. Now, I understand um, wanting to cover for a family member. You know, she had other children and everything. But um, another fact that they stated in the special was that most U.S. jails are only equipped to accommodate inmates up to 500 pounds. This woman weighs half a ton. Can you imagine what she had to go through? It was just, I mean, it, it really broke my heart. Um, the, her only real support system was her husband. She has a husband. He was the one who cleaned her, took care of her, um, dressed her wounds and everything. So she did have, she does have someone in her life who truly loves her. That sister is just despicable. Despicable. And, um... If I remember correctly, the sister only got sentenced to um, 15 years, and she's eligible for parole in three. And she just got this sentence in um, January of this year. It made me wonder, first and foremost, how did this 28-year-old woman 
let herself get to this weight of over a thousand pounds. I don't, I mean, I don't understand. I mean, I understand, you know, the emotional eating, the depression, and it causes a vicious cycle, but she's not even 30 years old yet, and she weighs over a thousand pounds. They said that each of her buttocks, her right buttocks, and her left buttocks, each weigh at least 120 pounds. And all I could do was truly feel sorry for her because she is literally trapped in her own body. And I say all that to say this. We have really got to do better. I know I got a lot of plus size girls that subscribe to me. I'm a plus size girl myself. I'm trying to get it together. You know, going to the water aerobics and everything. I'm trying to get it together. But I can't honestly say that I do need to be more disciplined um, when it comes to my food intake. And not necessarily... Um, what do I want to say? The quality, but the quantity. So, I really need to get on the ball with that because a thousand and thirty six pounds is not cute, it's not cute at all. And, um, so like I said, that's it. I just wanted to come and tell you all about the story if you all. Um, would like to know more, you can Google her. Her name is Myra Rosales. It's M-A-Y-R-A-R-O-S-A-L-E-S. -E and like I said, she has a special coming up soon on um, TLC. So, that is it for now. I will see you all later. I hope you all have a very good Sunday morning. Talk to you soon. Bye.